Once a year, when I offer this free live training to screenwriters, I get way more questions than I can possibly get to. So I'm going to be creating these five minute videos where I go through the questions that I didn't manage to get to. Welcome to the Independent Film School. I'm Elatir. Ready, set, go. Okay. Let's see, benefits and challenges with semi-autobiographical stories. Many benefits because God is in the detail. And so when you're writing something autobiographical, semi-autobiographical, um, it's just going to be rich with details like pure fiction may not be. Uh, challenges is people get uh, very wedded to how it went or to the real story. And so it's harder to bring craft into it and fictionalize it when you need to, to make it entertaining. You can also be emotionally too close to it and it'll make it harder, harder to make decisions. Okay. Five minutes. All right. Um, can you please explain how to write transitions, cut to dissolve, etc. in your scripts, which one works best for which type of scene? Uh, can you have different cuts and whatnot in one scene? So vast majority of cuts are going to just be that a cut and you don't want to do other kinds of transitions and that call attention to themselves and are distracting just cut to cut to cut to and because cut to is the default transition don't put it in your screenplay just write scenes and leave the cut to out of it you only put a transition if you're doing some other transition transition other than a cut to so smash cut or you know uh, dissolve or fade out and fade in, etc. But again, don't do these unless they really do serve the story. Did I get the question? Uh, which work best for which type of scenes? I mean, that's your job as a writer is to figure out, you have to kind of envision the movie in your head and see, figure out what kind of a cut is going to bring the emotional response you're looking for. I can't really give formula answers to that. All right, how many questions can I get in five minutes? Um, have you ever worked on two dear to your heart projects simultaneously and did it work out? Hmm, reminds me of the previous question. So <clears throat> I've seen writers write things that are just too raw, like you just lost someone, someone close to you that year and you're trying to write about it and you really just need time to heal it's just going to be harder to be clinical about it when it's time to be in terms of editing, fictionalizing, crafting it. Um, and it can also kind of rub your face in it when you need to, um, just for yourself as a human heal. So, uh, that said again, genuine, genuine, genuine. So, uh, no formulaic answer here. You got to figure out whether writing something that's too dear is um, if you have enough of a distance from it, but it's going to be emotionally rich. That's the best I can do in under five minutes. Okay, two minutes left. Um, I've completed a novel and I want to turn it into a film. Is the screenplay a re-editing in some of the book cut? So a screenplay is really the length of a short story. It's mostly white blank you know, space on the page. So when you're adopting a novel, you have to trim it down into a short story. So mostly the adaptation process is about figuring out the one streamlined through line, stream, streamline through line. Um, you're going to have to make a lot of choices and, and eliminate a lot of what's in the novel. Yeah, you have to be prepared to do that. It's not just a re-editing. You really have to reshape the whole story so that it fits the medium of a screenplay. Somebody could take several hours to write a novel, I mean, to read a novel, but it only takes you an hour and a half to watch a movie. So how are you going to turn several hours of story into an hour and a half? Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. How does all your wonderful advice, thank you, for screenplay apply differ from writing a fiction novel? So a lot of the story development tools that I share apply to any kind of storyteller, whether it's novels, even documentary films. Whenever you're trying to tell a story that engages an audience, the tools that I share will pertain. Um, but uh, when I teach, I do get into the specific specificities of how it applies to screenwriting specifically. 
The broad strokes of what I teach about story development definitely applies. Is it possible to have a story in mind without quite knowing the theme? Yeah, absolutely. Whatever inspiration strikes you, a certain scene, a certain character, write it, then identify the theme. That was five minutes. Yay! Three, two, one. I'll do this again. You've subscribed to my channel. You love these videos. It's time for that 90 minute masterclass where I help you eliminate writing blocks and arrive at your best screenplays. Join me at the independentfilmschool.com. Link is below and I'll invite you to my training. It is absolutely free. I'll see you there.